Good morning, John. If your life is anything like mine, there's going to be a time in it when you decide to do a thing. And at first, you love the thing. It's an amazing thing. The greatness of the thing is so inspiring. It fills your tank so much that you hit the ground running and you sprint for weeks, maybe months. And during that time, you never even question its greatness. But then, maybe a couple of the things that made the idea so great feel a little less great now. Maybe some of the initial fuel that was fueling you runs out. Maybe the world changes in totally unnecessary and ridiculously annoying ways that make you feel less enthusiastic about it. And then you have to decide, maybe even once you're like three quarters of the way through the project, if you want to keep going. Like you're still doing it. The default state is to just keep doing it. And so it's hard to stop. But it seems at this point a little onerous. Like you're not that excited about it anymore. And maybe you'll say, okay, let's just, let's just stop. Or maybe you'll say, I don't care if this isn't fun anymore. I decided to do this thing and I'm ding dong gonna do it. And that's not like good. That's not stick to -itiveness. That's not perseverance. It's stubbornness. It's simply saying like world, I don't care if you don't want me to do this. I don't care if nobody likes it. I don't care if it's not a good idea anymore. I said I was gonna do this thing and you can burn down around me, but I'm going to keep hiking up this hill, even though it's hot, even though I don't like it, even though I'm not sure why I started in the first place or what I'm gonna see when I get up there. But then, even when you're being driven by pure stubbornness, and not any kind of relentless fortitude, not the hustle that everyone says you need these days, but just because you said you were gonna do it, then maybe you find something. You find something new, something interesting, something inspiring. You learn something about yourself. Even if you should have given up long ago, you find some insight or the world changes again and the idea becomes good. And then you'll be like, see? I did it. I was relentless. I stuck with it and it was worth it. I knew it. Even though everyone told me to quit. Except it wasn't your genius. It wasn't your relentlessness. It was just that you were stubborn and you got lucky. Because it's just as likely, maybe even more so, that this sprint that you started out on, but the world has been screaming at you saying day after day, week after week isn't really working, is only going to get more sticky and laborious as time goes on. And then the people who are watching you publicly subject yourself to this foolhardy task will shake their heads and say, what are they doing? What are they doing? And the only response that you have, the only honest response anyway, is I said I was going to do it. I started doing the thing and I can't stop. And once I have done it, at least I will have done it. And that will be something. It'll be something. What's the right thing to do in a situation like that? Don't come to me because my answer is do it. Just do it. I just keep going until you're done. As long as there is an end date, as long as it's in sight, keep going. Even if it makes no sense. Even if you don't really like it anymore, you never know what you're going to learn out there. You never know what you're going to see. And at the end, at least you will have done it. Anyway, John, this is just something I've been thinking about. Not really applicable to anything in my life right now, but certainly something I've been through before. Maybe it'll be helpful to you or somebody else watching. Good news, the second episode of Bizarre Beasts, if you're missing that here on Vlogbrothers, is up on the youtube.com slash Bizarre Beasts YouTube channel. It's hosted by Sarah Suda, and it's about the Watson, which is one of my favorite birds. Also, Oren's favorite YouTube show, SciShow Kids, is coming back. You can find it now at youtube.com slash SciShow Kids with hundreds of episodes we've already uploaded, but new ones will start going live on Monday. And finally, James from Journey to the Microcosmos just got a new microscope, and it's so beautiful it made me cry. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.